Hello, have you ever wondered exactly how to quantify the value of information technology? My name is Kevin Jackson. This is Cloud Tech Academy. And today's class is on the business value of information technology. We're going to look at organizational requirements that will help you maximize the value of your IT. We'll then look at specific IT value methodologies and give you a way of comparing these different methodologies so that you can pick the right one for your situation. Much of this information is being provided by the Open Group. This is a group of individuals and organizations that lead development of open and vendor neutral IT standards. It's made up of st credible staff experts and high profile members along with local partners that further the work of the open group and enhance their reputation across the globe. You can learn more about the open group at opengroup.org. Organizations really need to focus on the governance of their IT in order to enhance the value that it can return. One of the key requirements of maximizing your IT is to have an active IT steering committee. This committee should be made up of senior managers from all stakeholder organizations. These executives meet regularly and do not send delegates in their place. The members discuss critical issues around IT investments and make final decisions. Organizations must also manage their IT as a portfolio. The portfolio management process evaluates, approves, funds, prioritizes, and monitors all IT investments. You need to have a standard IT value methodology in place as well. This is used within a business case in order to determine the expected business value of all proposed IT investments. The methodology is also used to measure the actual value during the entire life cycle. When looking at IT, financial measurements are just not enough. There are multiple interpretations of the many, many financial measurements in the marketplace. Use of these lead to inconsistency, and different groups will use different measures within the same organization. Financial metrics also imply a precision that really doesn't exist. This gives the organization a false sense of credibility, and these estimates are driven by mostly undocumented assumptions. Financial measures also fail to account for the intangible benefits. IT investments typically provide both direct and indirect benefits. How do you price or how do you value customer satisfaction? In, in a financial measurement, it just doesn't exist. Future be benefits are also not addressed. IT investments produce both immediate benefits and opportunities for future. Failure to incorporate risk is also a characteristic of financial measures. Risks are underestimated or not incorporated at all. Risk estimates also tend to be very subjective and are not consistently applied. We suggest that you take a look at four specific IT value methodologies and see if they fit your specific 
situation. These are the business value index, the total economic impact methodology, VAL IT, and applied information economics. The business value index methodology was developed by the Intel organization and has been in use since 2002. It prioritizes investment options and is used to make data-driven decisions. It is also applicable to monitoring progress down a specific strategy. It actually measures IT efficiency. The process itself is well documented and it's freely available. A second methodology was developed by the Forrester Research Incorporated called Total Economic Impact. It is a methodology for valuing your IT investment. It uses a business case, intangibles, calculates financial returns, and it quantifies both risk and the value of flexibility in your IT infrastructure. TEI actually looks at the impact of a change on the business. It captures the quantified data relating to changes in the non-IT departments. With many systems, the initial implementation will require changes to personnel or behavior in the affected user department. Marketing people will either be unavailable or less productive in their marketing tasks, for instance. Flexibility or future options can be looked at as the value of the option to take a second or third action in the future. In this regard, it is much like a financial purchase option. With such an option, one can purchase the right to acquire a stock or property for a price negotiated today. In the same regard, investing in additional infrastructure in excess of today's needs, for example, can enable the deployment of future applications. Risk is also measured using TEI. In this risk analysis, it translates the initial estimates for cost and benefit into a range of potential outcomes. Val IT was developed by the IT Governance Institute. ITGI also originated the COVID governance framework. It is comprised of three key processes containing 41 management practices. Value governance optimizes the value of IT investment by using 11 key measurements practices that cover the establishment of a governance, monitoring, and control framework. It provides strategic direction for an investment and it defines the investment portfolio characteristics. Portfolio management ensures that the overall portfolio is optimized. It consists of 15 management practices that cover the identification and maintenance of resource profiles, including investment thresholds, prioritization, and selection and deferral or rejection of investments. The third process is investment management, which optimizes individual IT investment programs and consists of 15 key management practices. The heart of a VAL IT analysis is the business case, and it must be continually updated throughout the economic life cycle of an investment. 
The business case is used to support the ongoing implementation and execution of a program, including its benefits. At the portfolio level, the business case is evaluated against other active and proposed programs. AEI should be used when quantitative rigor is required. This uses a clarify, measure, and optimize approach in assessing IT investment alternatives. This methodology conducts a true risk return analysis based on proven methods that have a known statistical validity. Improved cost-benefit analysis using mathematical models make AEI highly focused. It can be used to improve the cost-benefit analysis for better decisions at all levels of an IT investment. It also develops quality assurance measurements and a strategic plan development. An IT strategic plan can be developed based on identifying the best opportunities for economic contribution by your IT system. The unit of measures definitions remove ambiguity from intangibles, such as customer satisfaction and strategic alignment, by focusing on definitions that can be expressed as specific units of measure. It contains a systematic uncertainty analysis where all investments have a measurable amount of uncertainty or risk. It includes the calculation of the economic value of information. AIE is based on the premise that the value of information can be calculated as a dollar amount. AIE incorporates methods of modern portfolio theory and treats IT investments as another type of investment portfolio. When looking across these four options, BVI is really the simplest. Organizations with no history of applying value methodologies might find BVI easier to implement. TEI, on the other hand, values the importance of business flexibility. It adds more rigor around quantifying intangibles. Val IT takes an IT governance approach. Organizations that have implemented COBIT as a governance framework may benefit by, by using this. When it comes to rigor, none of these methodologies can beat AIE. Organizations that require more quantitative rigor should look at AIE. It's mathematical, statistical, and economic un underpinnings provide investment decision makers with a high degree of confidence in its results. You should use one of these or a similar tool in order to quantify the value of any IT investment, especially cloud. Please let me know if you find others that work better. See you soon.